Hey, Shalom. 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 First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Mukha'apakash. A double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. You know, peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. You know, pushing this gospel in all sincerity in these last days, most especially in these last days that, you know, there are lots of persecutions, you know, and there are lots of um, prophecies, you know, coming out, you know. Shalom also to the few aqua who are sincerely seeking this truth, you know. So we are out here as we do week in, week out, as we've been commanded, you know, to go out and, you know, push this truth, you know, because the end is really close. We are actually at the end, you know. So as you can see, you know, we've been seeing different things happening in the, in, in the news, you know. There are lots of, you know, uprisings, there are lots of seditions, you know. And all these things have been prophesied in the, in the scriptures, you know, to let us understand what's about to happen. These are prophecies, you know, coming to life, you know. Now, if you take a look at what's going on in, um, in Italy here, you know, there are lots of people coming out protesting and fighting against, you know, the power that be, Esau, the so-called white man. You know, the banking families, you know, the Rothschild, the Rockefellers, you know, the Oppenheimers, you know, the people governing this kingdom in wickedness. People are beginning to see how wicked these people are, you know, and people are beginning to feel the wicked vibe. And that's, um, people are beginning to see that, you know, all that they've been doing, all this wickedness, you know, meetings here, meetings there, COP26, COP99 or whatever, you know, all this is, you know, pushing a wicked vibration, you know. And it's all pushing an agenda that's not going to benefit the the common man you know so anyway without without too much talk you know we'll start by reading from the book of um second esdras you know which is the same as um extra you know so we'll read from chapter 15 then we'll, through the spirit we'll filter out we we'll we we'll bring out precepts you know hopefully it's going to be edifying yeah this is the book of second Ezra, chapter 15 verse 1. behold Speak that in the ears of my people. You can and that's what we're doing, you know. We're speaking in the ears of the people, you know, and we're doing it through different means, you know. We're doing it through, you know, going out, going out, teaching the highways and the byways. We're also doing them through the internet, which I was just speaking to the brother earlier that you know the internet, the internet are actually ways, you know, you know, because we are connected through lines, you know. It's a web, you know. You send, you send. If before you can get into uh, a certain um, um, a certain website, you need the address, you know. So when you click the right address, it takes you to that website, you know. And internet is a way, you know. Just like the book of um, Psalm 19:4 tells you, you know, the Most High has actually created it for these last days to push this truth, you know. And ever since, you know, um, the elder apostle Taha, you know, starting from him. Ever since they started the ministry on YouTube, you know, this truth just went to all four corners of the earth, you know, making it possible for brothers in, in Finland, in Germany, in Holland, you know, brothers in Tanzania, in Nigeria, we that we are over here in Italy, you know, making it possible for the for the for the for this truth, the gospel, to get all around the places, you know. It's the doing of the most high Yahaba Shem Shai. So keep reading. Speak thou in the ears of my people. The words of prophecy, which I will put in thy mouth, can, says this, the Lord. Can these words are words of prophecy, you know, and the word the word prophecy means, you know, to tell before, you know. So what you find in the scriptures, what you find in the Bible, you know, there are things of which are going to happen, you know, in 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 the future times, you know. These words are going to happen, and nothing is going to stop them from happening, you know. That's what prophecies are. But people are taking all these things for granted, you know, believing that it was all compiled by some so-called white cracker in which a white cracker cannot compile a, a book this spiritual, you know. We've seen all different books that they've written. They are all bogged up books. You know, there is no book as, as correct and as precise as, as the scriptures that we have, you know. And this is just a, a huge love from the side of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai. So when you say the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai is love, this is the love because it's showing you the end already from the beginning. It's, it doesn't make anything happen without informing you, you know. It says, I, I don't do, I, I would not do anything except, um, except I reveal them to my prophets, you know. So this is love, man. The Most High doesn't just let, you know, plagues to come upon a land, 
It doesn't just let destructions to come upon the land before without warning the people. And that's the same thing it did in, in the times of Egypt, you know. So Moses and Aaron, they will go before uh, the Pharaoh and they will tell the Pharaoh, Hey, listen, this is what the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to do, you know. If you don't let my people go, you know, it's going to bring these plagues upon you, you know. So the Most High informs these people earlier. Then it is left for you either to choose to choose to, to follow the commandments of the Most High or be strong-headed like Pharaoh, you know. You have a precept. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, from what the brother is saying, so this is the book of Isaiah chapter 46. Without. Let me start from 9. It says, Remember the former things of old, for I am the Lord. I am God, and there is none else. I am God, and there is none like me. Declaring the end from the beginning, and from the ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. Can. The counsel of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is going to stand definitely, you know. It declares the thing already from the beginning, it declares the end already from the beginning. And there is no other form of, um, there is no other pure love that, than this, you know. So, whatever comes, whatever happens, you know, you've been warned at full time, you've been told that this is going to happen, you know. It's just like, for example, um, um, during the time of Noah, you know, the people were being warned at that time that, hey, there is a flood coming, you know. He was speaking the words of prophecies, you know, being passed through his fathers, you know. That's um, from from Abraham, from Adam, you know, went through Seth, you know, from Seth, you know, it went through Enoch. Then you have um, Methuselah. Then you have all the lines coming down to him, you know. They sought from the things of old, old, you know, and they believed in these prophecies, and then all these things happened, you know. And as you if you are, have something, speak yeah, out, man, as, speak out. As, as the brother was saying, right now we have seen, when, like Yahweh Shai said that, uh, um, speak in, in Matthew chapter 24, where, where he said that his coming shall be like, like the days of old. You know, the days of, during the days of Noah, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. You know, as you can see, in, in this our lifetime, we now understand what it means. A lot of our people are still entangle themselves with the things of this world you know trying to be rich you know the devil has been manifested itself the scripture said that the man of sin will be revealed now we know who the man of sin is you know how can a government telling its people that it's supposed to be governed that's supposed to be protected that they should take you know in you the know jews. Huh? the jews the jews you know we are being careful for the sake of uh, 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 uh. Censorship. Yeah. So, so we all understand what Yahweh shall mean by the, his coming shall be like unto the days of Noah. Our people are fully gone. You know, it hurts me so much every time I look into the internet and see our people back in Nigeria. Man, those people, they are, they are, I always ask myself, these people are living in a different planet. You know, so they don't, they don't know what's going on. You know. But everything that is written is happening right before our eyes. Yahweh shall say that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall never pass away. We are seeing what the scripture says is happening right before our eyes. This is not a joke. This is real. You have anything to say, bro? No, no, go on, go on, go on. So I should continue from 2nd Ezra, right? Can, can. So this is 2nd Ezra chapter 15, verse 2. It says, And cause them to be written in the paper. For they are faithful and true. Can these words are faithful and true? You know, just like the brother was saying, you know, it's really, it's really, um, it's really shocking, you know, to see the state of Jake, man. Jake is true, man. Jake is gone. Jake is living on a different planet, you know. Jake doesn't see what's going on. And you see, just like the elders always, you know, bring out the elder apostle Taha, you know, those who are actually, you know, saying what's going on and speaking out. They're actually the, the Edomites, you know, which letting you know that, you know, these this children of this world in their generation are wiser than the children of light. You know, Jake is not even seeing what's going on, man. Jake, Jake is all about, all about his success and money and whatever, man. Jake is true. Jake doesn't see anything. Go on. Verse 3. Fear not the imagination against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that seek 
that speak against thee. Khan, the incredulity means unbelief, you know. We don't need to bother about the imaginations against us, you know. As you can see right now, Esau has succeeded, you know, in dividing the society into two, you know. If you ain't juiced up, the people are looking at you strange, man. The people are looking at you with some side, side face, you know. If you're not juiced up, you look like an alien, you know. And what the worst is yet to come, you know. So we shouldn't worry about all these imaginations of the people. We shouldn't worry about people telling us that, you know, we, we, we are hoping on things that are not going to come to pass. We are not worried about people saying that this book is written by man, by men, but we know that they are all brought up from, from, from the Most High Yehaw Shem Yao Shai. We are not worried about all these things, you know. So we are not going to let the unbelief of these people, you know, um, disturb us. What's that scripture that say if they don't believe, would it, does it mean that the book of Romans, Romans 5, 3, yeah, you can bring that precept out. Say if they don't believe, does does it does does it make the the truth you know unjust or or what? Bring out yeah, this is Romans chapter three verse three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the the faith of God without a faith? Can if they don't believe, it doesn't mean it's not true. You know, if anybody if one, once you teach this truth to someone and they don't believe, it doesn't make this truth untruth. You know. And the more we see that people are unbelieving, you know, the more we, we, we further get more confirmation of these prophecies because they've been prophesied from the beginning that at the end of days, people are going to give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of men, you know. They are not going to stand, you know, sound doctrine, you know. You want to add something? Yeah, I should continue from Roman. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is verse 4. It says, God forbid, yeah, let God be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou might, might as be justified in thy saying, and might, might as overcome when thou art judged. Can, you know, let the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai be true, and all men are liars, men, you know, and they're going to get all these things when judgment is just right at the door, falling upon them, you know. This is when many of them are start going to see that wow man what those people have been prophesying all these days man that's true and it's going to be too late man yeah that's when they will realize that the prophets have been among them you know you know like the brother was saying when all these things begin to come to pass they will now realize what they will now realize that the prophet have been among them you know as uh, ezekiel said so we all seen that the truth the book is true you know the prophecy is not lying as the scripture says it shall tell you but not lying my in our lifetime we are seeing everything is happening you know things are not normal this is not normal what they call normal is not normal you know trying to give us a different meaning of life than what has already been given to us uh, uh, like uh, what's the name of this guy uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg telling us about metaverse you know we are we are enjoying the life that's been given to us we like we love to be real not not a uh, 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 virtual yes yeah, sorry you to know? Call, sorry to cut you short we like to converse with people we yeah. like to be around people we don't want to live in a in a in a, in a, in a virtual world you know and that's the world that Esau has to 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 offer to the yeah. people you know go on sorry just wanted to add that Guys, guys, uh, let me continue from the second Ezra. So, this is second Ezra chapter 15, verse 5. Behold, behold, says the Lord, behold, says the Lord, Yahabashim Yahashah, I will bring place upon the world the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So, as the you can hear, the Most High is already, you know, he was already telling these things to, 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 to the prophet Ezra. You know, it's going to bring plagues upon this world. The this, this sword, famine, you know. And we've already started seeing all these things coming up, you know. But in a bigger in a bigger range, we're going to see them, you know. Just through the week, I believe, you know. Check out the plagues that came up in um, in, um, in, um, in Egypt, you know. Yeah, the the most I made um, an invasion of scorpions, man. And those things, they stink, man. They can inject poison and kill people, you know. So the Most High is bringing out all these plagues, you know, that we've seen. We've seen what's what's been going on in um in Kenya, 
and some other parts of Africa, the most highly released is locusts, you know. They eat up the crops, you know. The people don't get food, you know. And all what's happening actually now is plagues, you know. There is no more, there is no more happiness as it used to be, you know. Because the Most High is preparing the way for his son, yeah, I'll try to come and visit this world, man. Yeah. Verse 6. For wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their hurtful works are fulfilled. Can wickedness, wickedness has exceedingly polluted the whole earth, okay, and the hurtful works are fulfilled, man. Wickedness in all different places. This world is wicked, man. And if you're not saying that this world is wicked, you know, <laughs> definitely you've been set aside to be destroyed, you know. Because truly this world is wicked. There is nothing good that's coming out of this world anymore. This world needs a refreshment, you know. It needs, it needs a reset, you know. But it's not Esau's reset because Esau's reset is further, further wickedness, you know. We need, a, we need a just reset, you know. There are lots of things happening, man. Children being kidnapped, you know. Children being eaten, blood being drunk, you know. Children being missing every day. Children missing every day, you know. Now, if you go on the internet and you write the amount of children missing every day, which are children that are reported, you know, you, you, you remain with your mouths open, man. There is wickedness, there is no justice. You can see what just happened in the United States, you know, the, the last case that was judged, you know, someone that killed, you know, two people and got one injured, you know. They set him free. He was let out, what's his name, um, Ritter House or something. I can't remember how to pronounce that name. The guy was let, he was let free, man. If it was a Jake, he would be serving his whole life, you know, in jail. And they've caught, you know, they've, they've, they've actually, you know, judged wrongfully lots of Jakes, you know, who didn't actually commit certain crimes, but they were judged in wicked ways, you know. This place is wicked, man. The most high Yahweh Shem Yahushai needs to come destroy everything, you know. All the works that these people are doing actually is just to destroy nature, you know. They've actually made, you know, genetically modified seeds and they're pushing these seeds to the so-called Africans, you know. They're pushing it, you know, to the so-called Africans. They made genetically modified chicken, you know. Can you imagine? Beef. Genet genetically modified mosquitoes, you know. Esau is destroying everything. Wickedness is just too much, man. Yeah, you remember, I didn't know if you saw the video in, on Instagram last, I think last, this week, earlier, earlier this week, where Israel, Israel, the state of Israel now, actually in our land, but the people who try to, you know, impose... Who occupy. Yeah, who are occupying us, you know, who are impersonating us. They are Malachi. They are the, the ones who are actually doing this thing, you know. They have set up a factory. This factory, their work is to be manuf I don't know how they do this thing. They, they, they take chemicals and they manufacture meat. Okay, you know? can that's the 3D stamped meat. Yeah, 3D. You know? 3D. You know. They take um synthetic organism. Yeah. Or synthetic and what is synthetic is not natural. You know now they're stopping you from eating natural meat. Now they're actually printing meat for you in the lab. Man, this is craziness, man. If you don't see this or folly, then you're blind. You're destined for destruction. Yeah, you yeah. know. Yeah, they're actually saying that what Heavenly Father created is wrong. That we are not supposed to be eating natural food, natural meat, you know. Heavenly Father gave us uh, 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 cow, Give us goat, all animals for food. You know, and what did they eat? They eat, they eat certain leaves. certain animals. Yeah, the animals actually eat uh, leaves. Herbs. Uh, you know, herbs. And this thing is good for us. It's good for the body. But these people are actually saying that no, the Heavenly Father creation is not right. You know, they, 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 they know better. This is the way. We shouldn't have, we, we should abandon the right way and follow the, the, you know, their own way. So this is wickedness. This is not righteous, you know. So this, this is, this is what it is, man. You make your choice, you know. The Most High has natural things, you know, prepared for us. Organic. Things that are going to make you live. And all these wicked people ruling this world now, all Esau has is just destruction, man. He has all fake, pseudo, pseudo, pseudo science, man. He has all wickedness prepared for you, you know. So this and and they're doing this, you know, after they've actually genetically modified so many animals, you know. Most of the animals that were eaten in the supermarkets, they are not even the real ones, man. 
they feed them with a lot of chemicals that when you eat this food up you know they, they end up in your body people start catching cancers and all different kinds of things you know this place is wicked man now they've done all different kinds of you know genetically modified birds you know they take the embryos of um of a pigeon and they mix it with a parrot you know they take that of a lion they mix it with with a tiger and they give you a liger you know telling you no the most i doesn't know what it's doing man these people need to get up and if you're still looking for for future in this place man your future is dead man the future is dead if your Hawashai doesn't come back you know everyone would die man there will be no life left you know because you're just going to leave for a few for a short period of time then you die off now check out this um this um i watched a video on instagram some days ago you know you see all these healthy soccer players you know healthy healthy people you know they're all dropping dead man you see people retiring from sports in an early age you know after being juiced up you know so would you trust you know these people that have they've always done all this thing from time to time it's just that you know jake is just reluctant to go back and search history man history tells you the wickedness of those who are ruling this place they've never ruled with kindness they've never ruled with ju uh, justice they have only ruled in wickedness this place is wicked and it is ri ripening for destruction man we've done more than all all the other kingdoms that are past you know esau has done way more than the assyrians esau has done more than the babylonians esau has done more than the the sumerians man Esau embodies everything, then he surpasses everything. Now, now he wants he wants to make himself God, you know, telling you uh, we they need to cut CO CO two, you know, which CO two is actually life, man. It's actually, that what they are saying is they need to kill off a whole lot of people for the earth to live. Who then? Who the fuck are they to to decide who should live and who should die, you know? Besides, like Mosai created the world for human beings to be habited. Now they want to kill the human being for the earth to exist. <laughs> that doesn't make That's sense. That's craziness, man. It doesn't make any sense, man. You see? So everything they are, the scriptures say that they are turning things upside down. Damn, you know, damn, this, damn. Is what, this is what bring they are up, doing. Bring up that scripture, they're please. They are turning things down. upside down. Because these people, they, they turn everything upside down, you know? They don't tell you anything just. They turn things upside down. The most I gave, you know, a right way, it gave laws and statues to make this planets keep functioning perfectly you know it gave the charge to the men to rule over the woman you know but Esau turned everything upside down now the woman rules over the man you know the most I has created everything in a perfect order he created water he made all these things Esau says no then he puts his hand in these organisms and he modifies them you know and creates all different stuff you know and that's how you have people that are bogged out, you know, people that are crazy, just walking all around the places, you know. So, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse 15. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. And their works are in the dark. And they say, who sees us and who knoweth us? Surely you're turning things. Your turning of things upside down shall, shall be esteemed as the potter's clay for... Oh, sorry, let me start again. Number, verse 16. Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. For shall the work say of him that made it, he made me not. Or shall the things form say of him that frame it, he had no understanding? Can, and this is just what the so called white man is, so Edom, biblical nationality, this is what they're doing, you know. They are, we, are actually, we are actually instruments in the hands of our maker. But an instrument cannot boast against its maker. Can a pot boast against its maker, you know? This is what Esau is doing. Esau is boasting against its own maker, you know. Everything the maker makes, he says, no, it's not right. Then he tries to modify everything, you know. Their, surely, their turning of things is going to come upon them as a sudden destruction, you know. 
We can what's the square um, the verse that the first the verse the verse you read before that? Okay. It's a woe unto them. This is chapter 15, Isaiah 29, verse 15. It says, Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel. Man, these people they seek deep to hide their counsel, man. These people have been preparing all different kinds of things, right? From the first, second world war, at the end of the first world war, they had what do they call them? They had all these scientists work for them, you know. These people are actually working on creating viruses and all these things. Why? But they don't tell you anything, you know. They don't come up with everything, anything, you know. They hide all these things from you, you know. All their jobs, all they've been doing is just to, to, to destroy the human race, man. What is the operation? What do they call it? The orange or whatever. They actually made chemicals that they sprayed on Vietnam, you know. They call it orange, you know. I can't remember what. You can check it up on, on, on Wikipedia. Orange, um, something orange anyway. You know, they spray these chemicals, you know, they say it's a bio-warfare, whatever. And the children that they're still giving birth to today, they're coming out deformed, you know. This is the wickedness of Esau. Now, Esau, um, um, through the Bill, the Bill Gates to hell, you know, they came up with genetically modified mosquitoes. Now, these mosquitoes, they spray them in, 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 um, in the South, um, South America, you know, in, in some certain places. These mosquitoes actually, they kill all the female mosquitoes and they actually come in and making a different kind of bug, you know, something else, something alien, something new, you know, that, that were not before, you know. They turn things upside down, they do all sorts of wickedness in hidden places, man. Then they come before you and they tell you that they love you, they want to save humanity, you know. Just like the book of Ecclesiastes 12.10 tells you, never trust thine enemy for as iron roasted, so is his wickedness, you know. So you are, you are damn going to be a fool trusting in these people who have done nothing but place a hard burden upon you, man. Now imagine ever since you were born, ever since you were a little kid, you know, till this day, you know, as, as much as I can understand, they've only increased taxes and increased taxes. Nothing has ever gone down. Up, 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 Everything up. goes up, 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 up. Now you can't even, you can barely afford, you know, um, the, the gas to move your car, you know. Now certain things that you would buy for a dollar before, now you pay for like 10 times the price now. They are devaluing you know? the, 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 their so-called money. Currency. You know, they, deflation, they inflation. inflation. Now we're coming to that time of hyperinflation, you know. The foods are being blocked on the high sea, you know, bringing to come the plagues of the famine, you know. A lot is, is going is on, man. Design, you know? And all this is by design for the so-called people that love you, that want to save your life, man. Jake wouldn't wake up, man. Jake is busy looking at young Tog, <laughs> looking at little baby, you know. <laughs> May fled, well, Floyd Mayweather or whatever, you know. They want that new Bentley. Hey, Jake needs, two thirds needs to be destroyed, man. There yeah. is no other way. Two thirds definitely needs to get the fuck out, man. Because two thirds is just as wicked as the wicked, man. Let me bring this thing out. This, 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 uh, there's, there's this clip you sent me yesterday night. I think in Hungary. <clears throat> How can somebody who wants to save you, giving you an option between choose to take something or you die? You know? Uh, there is also a post that I saw. I, I can't remember all the things that I sent to you, but there is a post that I yeah, saw. This, this post, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Fine. So, look, this is this. Now is, show it to the show it to the camera. You know, this is a this is a late uh, a latest kind of news. I hope you can see it. You know, it says it will be job or debt to anti Vanessa's in Hungary. This is That's happening in Hungary. Hungary. This is Europe. This is we're not talking Europe. of we're not talking of some other places. Now this is the point it's getting to. You know the elder the elder apostle Gabba the other day was speaking about the Noah Hyde laws. You know these things are coming to pass man. Why do you think that Austria, you know they pushed this um they pushed this um this so called lockdown, you know, and now in Austria it is mandatory to get Jews stopped, man. 
Yeah. And you know, you know, all these people they move in a certain way. They have orders in which they follow. You know, the wicked they are so organized, so organized in a way you cannot imagine, man. Italy had its own part to play. Now Austria has its own part to play. Now Netherlands would have its own part to play. Now all hell is breaking loose in Netherlands. Netherlands, I believe, is going to be the first one to go all martial. You know, and what they do. If a country makes a mandate, you know, now all in the Italian TV, in their news outlets, what they're all speaking about is Austria. Hell, we need to do like Austria. You know, we need to do like Austria in order to stop the, the contagious, the bullshit and all the crap. You know, we need to do like Austria. We need to do this. We need to do that. You know, now that's in Hungary. You know, they're already preparing your mind for what's, com what's coming, man. If you, don't get, if you don't get familiar with Vanessa, man, it's death, man. The Golatines are, are ready. They're kept in some certain factories, but at the right time, they bring these things out and start using them on Jake, you know? But Jake is blind. Jake is not seeing anything. Jake is looking at MTV, pimp my ride or pimp my crib or whatever, you know? Jake is still looking up to becoming, you know, the next billionaire or the next young talk, man. Okay, I should go back from Ezra. Okay. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 7. Stop from 7, right? Yeah. Therefore says the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more, as touching their wickedness, could they profane, profanely. they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Han, and now, you know, the Most High said he's not going to hold his tongue anymore. And he's doing that through his prophets, man. The tongue of the Most High is no longer held, you know. We're letting these people know the wickedness. We're calling on the house of, of, of Jacob, you know, calling on the house of Jacob to wake up, man. The Most High no longer holds his tongue, you know. He's showing these things, man. We are prophesying to the people that, hey, there is danger at the front. There is danger at the front. You know, watch where you step. Watch what you do. There is danger at the front. But the people are refusing, you know. So all this, you know, it still goes back to how I always make that, uh, that example. Now, if you go before a judge, if you commit something, you know, then the judge is going to list out all the articles and tell you, hey, according to Article 5 or 6, according to Article 26, you know, you did this wrong, you did that wrong, you did this wrong. Then at the end, you get judged, man. And that's what the prophets are actually doing, you know. We're coming out now, we're letting people know, according to the book of the law, that, hey, this is what you're doing that's not right. This is what you're doing that's not right. Then what's the next step? The next step is judgment. So you wouldn't say you've not been informed before all this. And all this is still to let you know that the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, though is a terrible power, he still cares, man, because he lets you know what's going to come up right before he does it, man. You know? I have a precept. This is Ezekiel, this is Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 22. Son of man, what is that proverb that you have in the land of Israel, saying, the days are prolonged and every vision fell at? 23. Tell them, therefore, thus says the Lord, God, Yahweh, Yahweh, Shai. Hold on. Now, he said, what's this thing that's going on in Israel, you know, that the people, they, 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 they feel comfortable, they feel comfortable and they look and they say, man, the days are long, man, Yahusha is no longer coming, man. My mother actually says that, man, ever since I was young, they've been telling me that Yahusha is going to come, but it never comes, man. It's not going to happen in our generation. Just pray it never happens in our generation. Why would I want to pray it never happens in my generation? My, one of my friends also said that to me. You know, he why would I want to pray never happens in my generation? This place is dead, man. My friend actually said that he, he said that he believed this thing will happen, but not in our not generation. Not in our generation, yeah. And this is just, you know, and this is the witchcraft, going back to the witchcraft that Esau puts behind them. These people are blind because Esau puts, you know, the media, it puts all different kinds of distraction before them. So they are not watching and praying. They are not saying anything. They are not hastening the day of the coming of the Lord, man. And remember, Yahweh is going to come like a thief in the night, you know? 
But then, you know, we're, we're preparing the way and everything, but these people, they don't need any savior, man, just to, to cut the whole long talk. They don't need a savior because they are, they are, they are, they are comfortable where they are, man. Yeah. Is it not told that we should pray for his kingdom should come? Of course. You know? But yeah. these people, they don't need any savior, so they find themselves, you know, comfortable in the mess where they find themselves, you know? They don't need a savior. So keep reading. They are comfortable with the crumb. Can. So, Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 23. Tell them, therefore, thus says the Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, I will make this proverb to cease, and they shall no more use it as a proverb in Israel. But say unto them, the days are at hand, and the effect of every vision. Can. The days are at hand. Now get that precept that of the 2 3, Habakkuk 2 3, that says, um, For though you shall tarry, you shall. It shall happen, it shall not tarry. Yeah, this is Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. And now is that appointed time, you know? That vision is now that appointed time, man. You know? But our people, they are not expecting anything, you know? They are expecting things that are just going to continue the way they are. Some people have an illusion. They still believe that they are still going to go back to a certain thing called normal, you know? Hey! Guess what? This is your new normal. Your new normal is going to be hell, man. This is just the tip of the iceberg, man. Keep reading. Your new normal is to be updating. Updating man. your body. So you need to take those boosters, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Every two, three months, they will tell you. You need just like a cell phone. <laughs> yeah, they, that's what they tell you, that the thing is increasing. Oh, it's increasing. Okay. You need to get it. You need that's to witchcraft, it. man. So that's your new normal. Jake, the... Jake cannot just see be through that witchcraft, man. They so believe in what that box, that magic box that they have in their houses, which I also have in my house, but we watch it and filter it through the spirit, man. That TV, man, it's sorcery, man. It's just pure sorcery. If you don't have the right spirit, if you don't have the Roka Kodash with you, man, you're dead, you're gone. Misinformation. Misinformation. That's what your news and your TV is, you know, actually. Finish what you're reading. Yeah, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at at the at the end it shall speak and not tell and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because Can. it will surely come. It will Can. not tarry. Though it tarry, wait for it. You know, it will surely come. And we are told that Yahweh Shai is going to come as 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 a thief in the night. So no one knows that day. But we've been given a series of um, of things that are going to happen before it's coming. You know. Things that we're meant to watch out for, you know, before it's coming, you know. So a wise man, what's a wise man going to do? A wise man is going to prepare and watch. So when his Lord comes back, he's going to find him doing that which he has set him to do, you know. What's that scripture, you know, book of Matthew, he says the good servant uh, is either he, uh, when the Lord comes back, he shall find him doing that which you get that point, you know. It's the book of Matthew, I think, 20, 24 so. You know? So, Yahaba Shem Shai Rataza, we're all praying and hoping that we're part of that number that's going to be saved. But when we come back, we don't want, to, we don't, we don't want our king to find us lacking, man. <laughs> if you're found lacking, when Yahaba Shai comes back, it means death, man. It means a horrible destruction, man. So you don't want to be found in that that lacking spirit, you know, that relaxed spirit. No, nothing is going to happen. These prophecies are not going to happen. That's what Israel believes in, you know. They think things are still going to go on and all this bullshit is still going to happen, you know, which they will go to clubs and dance and all this. And now you have to do all that in the metaverse, you know. Could be 16, you know. Well, if you don't find it, you leave it, you know. Could be 16. 42 said, uh, I should read 42. Yeah, read. Yeah, this is uh, Matthew 24, 42. He said, Watch therefore, for you know not what hour your Lord do comment. Can you know not what hour the Lord comment, you know? So you should watch, you know? You should watch, man. You should watch and pray as it's been told. You know? All these things are definitely going to happen. You've seen it. Yeah. 
understand. So this is Matthew 24, 45. It says, Who then is a faithful and a wise servant, whom his Lord has made ruler over his household to give them meat in due season? Can. It says, Who then is a faithful wise and wise servant, it says, whom his Lord has made ruler over his household to give meat, can. This is the question, who is a faithful servant, you know, in which, you know, the Lord has, you know, kept him in his household. He has given him certain things to do. So when he comes back, now read the verse after. Okay, 46. He said, blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he comes, shall find so doing. Can, you know, we have been given certain commandments. And things we should do you know and this is really this scripture is really so deep that you know it opens your eyes to many things you know because whatever you're doing if it has nothing to do with salvation man you're just doing craft you know yeah we have to walk we have to put food in our table you know that's normal but then that shouldn't be your major that shouldn't be your major um, um objective or whatever you know What's the right word? So when Yahweh Shai comes back, he needs his faithful servants that is going to find doing that which he has commanded them to do. He said, if you love me, you know, you feed my sheep, you know. If you love me, you keep the commandments of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. These are the faithful servants that the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Shai, in particular when he comes back, these are the faithful servants is going to welcome into, you know, that marriage, you know, with the Father Yahweh. So go on. If you don't have any other precept, you know, you go back to. Yeah, and the, and the one of the commandment is, is, is uh, Yahweh Shai said we should pray that kingdom come. Can. You know? Who is doing that now? You know, if you go to all these churches, if you go to all these, um, most especially the African churches, you know, their preachings are actually, you know, prosperity preachings, you know. They're only preaching about how to be to live better, how to be better in the society, how to how to be famous, how to be whatever, you know. Everything that's out of the Bible, that's what they do. That's where you should know where the truth is actually. Because the truth is not everywhere. Yeah, then like the brother said, they're not even, you know, telling their people uh, uh, the end time. They don't even know what they the don't teach is prophecy. All about. They don't teach prophecy. They don't speak according to the prophet, uh, according to prophecy, according to the law, as the scripture says. To they the don't. Law, they to don't the have prophecy because prophecy is speaking about the future. Yeah. These people never speak about the future. The only time they want to try to speak about the future is they pick some actors and they put them on TV and say, "Oh, you're about to travel somewhere next two weeks, and I see that um, your sister is planning wicked against you." These are all acting, man. <laughs> That's the prophecy they have, you know, in which prophecy is already written here, you know. So I should go back to Ezra, right? Yeah. So this is Second Ezra chapter fifteen, verse no, ten. No, wait. You say uh, verse eight. Let's let's get a point. Where 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 did we stop? No, no, no. We need to go back to verse um verse eight. You know, because the ending of the verse, you know, we need to pick out uh, precepts in which it leads to the verse 9. Okay. You know? Okay, Second Ezra 15 verse 8. It says, I will, hold my, I will hold my tongue no more, as they touch in their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things, in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and the righteous blood cried unto me, can the innocent and the righteous blood they are all crying to the most high yah bashem all those that he saw as deprived of you know certain things all those that they sacrifice to drink their blood all those that they kill for this truth you know those who die in 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 in, in, in this truth you know their bloods are actually crying out to the most high our prophets of the past who were all murdered their bloods are actually crying and begging. Get the book of Revelation 6 9. You know, their blood is crying, you know, and asking the Most High, when are, they, when are we going to get justice? When are we going to get justice? They're crying to the Most High. This is Revelation chapter 6, verse 9. And when he had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the source of them that we are slain 
for the word of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh and for the testimony which they held. Ten. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on, the, on them that dwell on the earth? Ten. And these bloods are actually crying to the Most High, How long? How long? Just like we are actually crying in the spirit right now. Yahweh Shai, how long are you? What? How long is it going to take you to come back and take us out of this place? You know. So, hey, it's just like when you have a child. You know, you have a child and you're just sitting right there and your child is crying. Papa, I need bread. Papa, I need bread. Disturbing you. Papa, I need bread. Papa, I need bread. There is going to get to a time in which you just get tired. You stand up, you pick up bread, and you go give to that child. You know, and that's the same thing. You know, the spirits are crying to the Most High. The prophets are out there, you know, crying to the Most High, Yahweh Shem Shai. There is injustice in this place. And if you're not in that spirit of saying that there is injustice, there is wickedness, man, then you're part of those who are going to get destroyed then. Going back to... Second Ezra. Nine. I should read the... Nine. Nine, okay. This is Second Ezra chapter 15, verse 9. And therefore says the Lord, I will surely avenge them. And receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Can and that's just what we just explained, you know. Yahweh Shai is going to avenge us, you know. The most high Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is going to avenge us. So this is not the end for us, you know. All these wicked Edomites, they can do anything that they like, you know. And as we know, many brothers are going to die for this truth, you know. We don't know what our lot is. We might be part of that number of people that are going to die, you know. We are only just praying that whatever the will of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahushai be for us, you know, it should give us the spirit to be able to stand anything. But then we know that our debt is not in vain because Yahushai would avenge our, our, our debt, you know. He would avenge everything. And we know that the, the, the power of life and death lays in his hand, you know. So debt is just a gimmick, man. Debt is a, is a, is a, is a, is a how should I put it? Debt is a scam. You know, death does not really exist. You know, you're actually dead when you don't know this truth. You know, that's why you get scared of everything. But once you come into this truth, death does not exist. You know, yeah. that is liberation, man. Yeah, if Yahweh yeah, Shai would take my life in this moment, man, he's just doing me a great favor, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's true. It's true because to live here is, is a lot of burden. You know. You got to go through, you got to worry about how, how worry about everything, your base, you know, it's, it's a big burden, like the brother just said, you know. But uh, the scripture says, if we live, we live to him. If we die, we die to him. Right? Uh, yeah. uh, you like live and die in the Lord, yeah. Shai. Yeah, but uh, Yahweh Shai also said that to fear him, if you, if you, you shouldn't fear the one that can kill the body. Can, can. Um, you know. Fear not the man that will kill the body, but he that can kill the body and, and soul, soul and cast you in hell mm -hmm. forever. And that hell he's talking about is the grave. And he's talking about, you know, bringing you back for judgment, you know. Yes. So we, we are not scared of man. We're not scared if they put our head in the gulletin and chop our heads off. We are praying, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Dash. Ratazai gives us that spirit, you know. To stand like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego should give us that spirit to stand like the, the Maccabees bro brothers, you know. It should give us that spirit, you know, to be like Daniel, who was thrown in the den, you know. Because, hey, <laughs> we're going to get to a point in which we need to exercise our faith, man. Everyone is going to be tested in one way or the other. Some people through certain ways, some people through another different ways. But it is certain that everyone is going to be tested. Yeah, this this uh, second Ezra 15 verse 11. Wow, so we'll re repeat 10 again. We'll repeat it 10 then. It says, verse 10, it says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Can. And that Egypt represents our land of bondage, you know, most especially in America. You know, America as, as, the, as the octopus, you know, with the eight tentacles, you know, walking, you know, and, you know, putting all these other countries all together to do some wickedness. But, hey, the power does not even lie in the hands of America, you know. But America is actually Babylon, you know, it was a country set up for these last days. That's the land of, um, of um, captivity. 
and we know that the people, the so-called people that are governing this world, they are living in Europe. We know that they are living in Europe. The so-called banking family, the Rothschild and the rest, they are living in Europe. They are not living in America. America is just their, their corporation. It's, it's like a factory for them. You know, a factory for slaves, a factory for, for their labor, and a factory for everything. The so cash, what does it say? Cow. It says, It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. Can. Jake is led as a flock to the slaughter, man. We are all actually, we worth nothing to these people that are ruling this kingdom right now. We are actually worth nothing, you know. We are saying like stock. You know, when you get given birth, you know, you get that birth certificate, you know, it means you're a property, you're a stock. Your name, all written in caps, you're no longer human, you're, you're, you're an asset to the government, man. So we definitely need a savior to come get us out of all this mess. You know? And if the savior doesn't come, man, every, to the last one of us is just dead, man. Yeah, You're yeah. gone. Yeah, it's crazy. You know, in the world you live, you, you have to move around with paper. Without paper, you can't even move. You can't go to one place to another. You got to move with paper. Documents. You know? it's, it's crazy. And they call it document, you know. When the police stop you on the road, now first thing they will ask now is where your documento, meaning where your where where is your document, you know, you know. You, then you present one or two things. They will before you know it, they will pipe into their computer, you know, one to one to to find, you know, to know all about you. So this is not life. And that all that is just actually a, a, a preparation to this time that we gain into know, which is the green pass, you know. Yeah, now nah, they want to take it to another level. They are taking level. it to a different level now. You know, you now nah, know? they want to stock it into our, 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 our body. You know, maybe in the future to come, when they meet you, they, they, they don't... No, they will actually scan they, you. They will scan you. They don't need to ask you where is your document. They will just scan you, you know. They will scan you. <laughs> That's the MO, M-O-T-B. Man, this is crazy. Honestly, this is crazy. And you know, you have different camps who are saying that this is just a gimmick. Mm. That they're saying that the, the MOTB is an embargo. Yeah. Some are saying the MOTB is whatever, you know. They even say it's sleeping with white they women. They say MOTB is sleeping with white women. You know, we want to see very soon when all this thing comes out. Like over here in Italy, you know, they're already speaking about this in their parliament, you know, the Chips Act. Then you have over there in Sweden, where you have a huge number of the population, I believe half of the population already already all chipped, man. And I read some article, I don't know, I can't remember, some days ago that was speaking about, you, you know, they want to make it an, uh, it's the new step, it's the latest step, you know, to go. And it's all clear, man. We get into that point, man. MOTB is just right there, you know. The book of Revelation 13, 16 downwards, you know, is about to play. And some people are, are saying crazy stuff like, is, is sleeping with white woman. But, you know, I keep asking myself, how does this thing make sense? The scripture said that you can't buy, no one can buy or sell except you have the, the thing. In other words, the scripture is saying that you have to have something physically for you to buy something. Because in the world we live today, you can't just go to supermarket when you finish purchasing your thing, you tell them, uh, just walk out. Uh, I sleep with white woman. <laughs> <laughs> and wait, the funny thing is, how does it make sense? The funny thing is, you have lots of people still following that camp. How does and it make like, sense? Just like the elder Taha always, the elder Apostle Taha always says, you know, a wise man that's in that camp, the first day those people say such things from their mouth, they had to like leave that camp, you know? But you still have people going to these camps, man. Oh, it makes no sense, bro. You know, some are saying it's John 3.16. Okay, if you go to the supermarket and buy something, then when you get to the cashier, when they ask you to pay, you say, you tell them John 3.16. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make sense, bro. <laughs> I mean, some people, I mean... And some say some says that it's, it's Christianity. It's Christianity, okay. You go it, to the supermarket and you say, then, I'm a Christian. Uh, <laughs> you After purchasing, you go to the cashier, you tell them, I'm a Christian. You just walk away. Man, it doesn't make any sense. You know? The world we are living now, uh, the government that they're not even, you know, they're not even pushing Christianity anymore. Yeah, they, 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 they started with it, you know, in the Renaissance, it was part of their deception. But right now, they don't give a fuck about the Christianity, you know. So everything is making, coming together, everything is, you know, the more we are getting closer, everything is, is becoming clearer and clearer and clearer. 
that the thing is what our elders thought, thought you know, what they have been saying about this thing, it, it, it is what it is. It is the thing, you know, the, 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 the grain of rice, as they call it, right? But it doesn't make sense, you know, when you go to the supermarket, you finish buying, you tell them, uh, 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 some even say it's philosophy, it's white man's philosophy. Yeah, yeah, that's just all madness and stupidity. Well, philosophy. What is philosophy? No. Philosophy is, is, is knowledge. You know, it's an idea. You know, so break it down. Is philosophy is okay, or how? How? Make it make sense. How does it make sense? You know. So anyway, this, you know, this is the doing of the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai, You know. Because, you know, there is actually, it's not all Israel that is of Israel. It's like the book of Galatians tells you, you know. It's not all of Israel that's of Israel. You have the Israel of, of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know. And those who are destined to get this truth are going to get it, man. Those who are destined to get this truth, they're going to know that um, the MOTB is actually the, 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 the microchip, you know. The potato chips. You yeah, know? it makes sense because these days, so many countries are talking about uh, uh, digital currency. You know, I don't see I don't see Saudi Arabia talking about uh, white woman or Christianity. They're speaking about digitalizing everything. Yeah, yeah. this is what we are seeing, and we know that uh, uh, Yahweh shall say, "Heaven and earth shall pass away, and my word shall will remain." Happen. You know, it means this prophecy must happen. Can. So, okay. Just like the book of Habakkuk that you just read, 2 3, it says, It shall tarry, but it must. Yeah. It shall surely come. It shall to surely pass. come. Meaning, this thing will happen all over the globe. So, tell me how the Saudi Arabia and those people who worship, who, who worship, who worship uh, Muslim, uh, Allah. Allah. So, are they going to turn into stone. Christianity? Allah, the stone God. Huh? <laughs> so, how, how does it make sense? These people who are saying that this is Christianity or this is a white woman, they need to make it make sense. You know, because this thing must surely happen, and we are not seeing that. We are not ah. seeing that uh, uh, Muslim world are turning into Christian Christianity, or they are they are they are, they are turning into white women. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. But what we are seeing is reality that the world as we know it today is gradually, changing. you know, changing into digitalized world. That is what we are seeing. So it makes sense. This is. It is what it is. It is Prophecy. really the ground of rice. It makes sense. It makes all the whole Rain sense in the world. You know? And we're almost there. Because I believe this, this, this is the last, you know, this, we are about to enter in a very dark time. You know, a time like never before, as the scripture says. The book of Daniel 12. Yeah. You know? Yahushua even spoke about it in Matthew chapter 24. It's a time like never been before. Nor shall he be after it. Ah. No, that was going to be real dark. Because the way they will do this thing. And the people are not ready. <laughs> they're, still, they're, still, they're still probably trying to get their next ticket for the next um, Travis Scott show, Astro World. You know, they're, they're booking their tickets down for the next show. Because people don't see anything, you know? They don't see anything. They don't understand anything, man. So go on. Yeah, I'll just continue from Second Ezra. Yeah. Yes. Okay. This is Second Ezra chapter 15. 11. Okay. Yeah. Verse 11. But I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plague as before and, and will destroy all the land thereof. Now, the key word, the key word of that verse, it says it's going to it says it's going to smite Egypt as before. Oh. So it's telling you it's not the old Egypt. Yeah. It's a new Egypt, you know, which is the land of captivities where we have majority of our brothers, which is America, Babylon the Great. You know, that war that got the world war drunk through our philosophies, you know, through the wine of our fornication, you know. Yeah, so it's talking of America right there, you see? The scripture said that all world have been drunken with his, you know, yeah, his with wine. With a cup of fornication, you know? A wine of fornication. And those are the, those are the, the laws that they bring, you know, the perversion of the laws, the, the, the alphabet people, the aware of life, the philosophies that they bring, you know? 
that's what it is, man. You know. So the Most High is going to smite that land with plagues, man. The, the Most High Yahweh Shem is going to smite that land with plagues. Now let's get the book of um, let's get the book of Revelation 18. Let's go into a Revelation 18. That's one of the the favorite you know chapters of the Elder Apostle Taha. Start from one. Yeah. Just start from one. This is Revelation 18 verse one. And after those things, I saw another angel come down from heaven having a great power, and the earth was lightened with his glory. Can. That's talking about the effects, the after effect of destruction. Go on. Verse 2. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils, and the hold, and the hold of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful belt. Can. When the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahusha is done with America, America is going to be inhabited only with um, all these desert creatures, man, creeping animals, dragons. You know, Reptile. there is no one that is going to be left in that land. So all the things that you're saying today, all the beautiful things, you know, the Statue of Liberty, the 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 the. the um, the towers or all those things, New York or whatever, everything is coming down, man. You know? So those who are not fearing the most high Yahweh Shem Yao Shai and stay on the side of these people that are powerless because Esau is powerless. Esau cannot avoid all these things, you know? These are written, just like the brother said, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall remain. You know? Destruction is coming to America. In no time destruction is coming. And it is going to come. Keep reading. Verse 3, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her, and the merchants of the earth have waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Can, and this is America, you know, America has made many countries rich, you know, countries like Japan, countries like Taiwan, countries like China, you know. Because America patrol all these countries. Now you can see how, how important, you know, how these countries they get money from America. That's you can see what's going on on the on the on the sea now that you have all these cargoes being being blocked, you know. And you see majority of the food that's being consumed in America comes from other countries. Just like here in Italy, majority of the food, funny enough, on the south side of Italy, we have a lot of um, we have lots of farms. But majority of the food that's coming in, they're coming from South America, you know, and yeah. other African countries. Yes, America. yes. All Most of those America. bananas that we eat, all those um, what do you call it, um, avocados and all yeah, those stuffs, yeah, yeah. you know, they all come from uh, from other countries. Now, if you go to the supermarket and you buy those things, you check the stamp. They put always a stamp on it. It tells you where they come from, you know. Yeah, so America, true. America, a lot of people have, you know, they've, they've, they've enjoyed America being in power. You know, Saudi Arabia and all these countries, you know, they make deals, oil and that and all those things, sell, sales of arms and all those things. So keep reading. Verse 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that you be not partakers of her sins, and that you receive not of her plagues. Can and this is speaking about the chariots, you know, when the chariots are going to come before the destruction of America, those chariots are going to beam, they're going to beam the sons of Israel up, the elect, you know. That's why we are all praying, we're always out here, week in, week out, you know, doing the work of mercy because all we seek is mercy from the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, man. That debt is going to be really terrible, you know. So we are seeking mercy, you know, by doing put into the best of our ability these commandments coming out doing the works you know so we're seeking mercy so when they, when these chariots they come the so-called ufos we're going to be part of that numbers that are going to be taken off you know so keep reading verse 5 for her sins have reached unto heaven and yahweh have remembered her iniquities america has committed so much iniquities you know even lately I believe they started recognizing um, crimes against humanity in the UN, you know? 
there were some petitions that were placed, placed I believe, by, um, by uh, Malcolm X and some other people, you know. They made some petitions for some crimes against humanity that, of America. America has gone to the western part of Africa, has taken people, murdered people, destroyed civilizations, and taken these people as slaves. Not to talk about northern, um, southern America. These Americans went there, you know, and they, they, they exterminated a whole race of people, you know. Genocides, you know. America went to Iran and turned Iran to a desert. They went to Afghanistan, tried the same bullshit, but they didn't, they didn't succeed it, you know. But then they've turned the country to a wicked place. They went to Libya, they did the same thing, you know. Now they're trying to do the same thing to Syria, but America didn't, didn't um, Russia didn't give them the chance to do so, you know. America has committed lots of iniquities and is going to pay for all this blood that it has shed, you know. He has shed so much blood and justice is coming, you know. You can't always buy all the judges, you know, as they've always done. They believe they can always buy their way out of everything because now they actually have, that's a country that, just like I said, that is set up by the banking families, you know. They think they can buy everything out. These people have been committing all crimes against humanities for ages. Keep reading. Verse 6. Reward her even as she rewarded you. And double unto her double, according to her works. In the cup which she has filled, free to her double. Can. She has filled a cup that's a cup of wickedness, death and destruction. In which this Vanessa is part of a cup, you know. She has done so much wickedness in which all these things we are going to pay on to our double, man. And this is justice, man. Pushing homosexual, homosexual push, 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 yes, can. the whole world. That's the alphabet people, no. you know. Forcing you to take his own wicked, you know, perverse ways, you know. The most I made certain commandments and things, you know. But they go against everything, you know. They say the most I kept the right order. The woman is supposed to be under the man. You know, they made everything, you know, turn men to gays, you know, turn women to lesbians and do push all this wickedness, you know. And it's funny enough how you have all these problems going on in the world, people starving, economical problems. But the problems that they present to the EU and all the rest and the COP and all the shit that they do is the alphabet people right for the gays. You know, this is crazy, man. If you're not saying that these people are actually the wicked, it means I'm going to repeat you're destined to die to die alongside with them to be destroyed man keep reading yeah they, you know when the, uh, Biden came into office one of the things he did the was, first thing he did was you know you no know, it was he, 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 paving he, the way for this alphabet paving the way people. for them you know he told them he got your prison got your back you know there was can like, you imagine he yeah. said he said children can decide children can decide to change the agenda the agenda oh goodness this is bullshit man you know, these people, they're supposed to hold... Oh, man. <laughs> man, these people have done a whole lot of... That's why you see this, this America needs to be destroyed, man. Because America, what happens, it all starts in America. You know, the trend of all this wickedness starts in America and it goes all to all the rest of the world. Now, look at this bullshit, this crap music, trap music, you know, demonic music that came out, you know, sounds good to the ears. Now look, everywhere, everyone is just doing this trap music. Arabs, the Italians, the Austrians, the Germans, everyone, the Africans, they're all doing this trap music now. So this trend of wickedness starts from America. Yeah. I did, I did some lesson the other day that the Nigerians, are, 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 they lack wisdom, man. Now in Nigeria, can you imagine a country, you know, where, where that's concentrated with a lot of jigs, that they had moral values, you know, after all these years, America has finally penetrated into their hearts. Now, they're taking in, men are becoming, you know, women, you know. They're taking off, you know, they're taking off their dicks and doing all, all sorts of surgeries to become women, you know. And they are being carried off. They're getting different sponsors from different brands, you know, to push this alphabet shit in Nigeria. And that's one of the easiest way of becoming rich in Nigeria. Just become an alphabet person and you see... All different sponsors will run after you. Man, Keep reading. This world is done, man. Yeah, it's done, man. If you and if you're not saying no. that this place is done, I'm going to repeat: you're destined for destruction, man. Verse seven. 
How much? How much she, ha she has glorified herself? How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously? So much torment and sorrow give her, for she says in her heart, "I sit a queen, and and I am no widow, and shall see no sorrow." Can she has lived deliciously? You know. She has enjoyed so much in all these years, man. America sat on the head of everybody, man. You know, they had slaves built their economy up. You know, they don't even pay them. You know, now she believes she's going to live forever. She'll be young forever. Get the book of Isaiah 47.1. Yeah, you know, because nobody have, no country have actually dealt with them directly from country to country. Can, ever since they did, they dropped those bombs on all those countries, everyone got scared of them, you know? No one opened their mouth ever since they dropped the, the bomb on Bosnia. Then they dropped the Hiroshima, the fat boy Hiroshima Nagasaki on Japan. You know, every, the whole earth is quiet before America. You know, this Isaiah for, chapter 47, verse 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon. Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of Chidean, of the Chideans. For thou shall no more be called tender and delicate can now you can see right there speaking of the daughter of the chaldeans you know speaking of babylon daughter of the chaldeans that's speaking of america right there it speaks yeah. in code you know yeah. dark parables in which this truth is not for everybody you know just like when yahweh shai was speaking in parables his apostles they asked why he was speaking in parables he said for it is given unto, unto thee to understand the things but unto them is not given so that's speaking of america America, come down and sit on the ground, man. These people are base people, man. I did uh, a lesson speaking on the origin of the so-called Caucasians, you know. These people are Kazarians, man. They were cave beasts, man. They used to dwell in caves. They don't even have a language. They communicated doing things like, oh, 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 oh. yes. Like monkeys. Yes, they were the <laughs> vilest of humans, man. Well, this if they are in no position to teach human beings how to live, you know, because they are not right. The scripture says he so that lifted up in him is not right. It's not right, you yeah. know. He say, can you take um, something crooked and make it straight? No, no, you no. You cannot. No. And then these people don't want to be the moral, the moral, mm. the moral teachers of the whole world. That they want they are, to teach you how to live in democracy. They are going you know? around teaching the whole world how to live. Why they are they are they are, they are, they are the most base people on the earth, you know. They are the one pushing wickedness through uh, the whole earth. Look at, look, go to YouTube, look at, look at hip hop, so called hip hop. Look at what the women are doing. They're wearing, they are going naked, pants, singing. And anyway, the hip hop is Jake anyway. It's Jake, it's Jake that's actually in that industry. Yeah, but that but industry, the industry is run by, by Edomites. Yeah, of course, they created it. This is, what, this, is, this is the kind of thing they want us to be doing, you know? So that we we'll forget, we we'll continue to be in that drunk in mind, forget who we are, so that we'll continue to rule over us over and over up for century to century. You know? No, let's go back. No, 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 read read verse two. Read, read verse two. It's it's uh, read verse two there. Right there. Okay. This is uh, no just keep reading anyway. Verse two. <laughs> this is Isaiah 47 verse 2. Take the millstone and grind meal. Can take the millstone and grind. You're going to work, man. You're going to slavery, my nigga. <laughs> America is going to slavery. And the rest of all the Caucasians, the so-called Edomites, the only prayer you can pray for is for you not to be an Edomite by blood, man. Because if you're an Edomite by blood, man, you're going into slavery, man. Hardcore, man. You know, hardcore slavery, man. The and that, that millstone right there means work, you know? Yeah, like we read before, the scripture said, double unto her. Can. He that leadeth into uh, captivity must go into captivity. He that killeth by the sword must go. As we read before, he said, double unto her. Yes. Keep reading. So, take the millstone and grind meal. Uncover thy locks. Thy locks. Make bare the leg. Uncover thy thigh. Pass over thy river. Thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man. Can and nakedness is being uncovered in these days because now you can just go on the internet and type in some things and you find all the wickedness of these people, man. There are different documentaries speaking. Everyone knows who the devil is, you know. 
just like the book of second thessalonians chapter 2 tells you you know that he shall be revealed you know he's been made bare he's been made be, uh, naked you know yeah, have a this Read. is job chapter 20 verse 27 the heaven shall reveal his iniquity and the earth shall rise up against him can the heaven shall reveal his iniquity which is speaking about the internet right there <laughs> yeah. and the earth shall rise against him you know people all these people that you're saying that are protesting that they don't want to take the 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 the, 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 the vanessa venom you know these are people that they are beginning to see the wickedness of this man they don't trust their government anymore yeah everybody's rising up against him you know even some even some country who scripture says that let the weak say i am strong like china you know before the china doesn't can't speak to america can you know but now they have they, they, they have one of the what they call it uh the most, hypersonic the most dangerous the most, on Earth the now. most active hypersonic missiles and america I, 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 last week i, I watched um this documentary that america said that ufo is shutting down their missiles Die, they, they, you know? can. So it's like our other nations are coming stronger and stronger and America is going weaker, you know? Though, though America might have um, a huge military power, America has, the, I think, the number one military power in the world, you know? They have so a lot of, um, what do they call it, you know, these jets, um, you know, fighter jets. America invests a lot on the air, you know, their air force is the strongest in the world. But what are all these other countries doing? These other countries, they are busy making all these missiles that are going to bring down those jets. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so if we can't fight you up there, we'll bring you down. <laughs> 30 minutes, they are, they, are, they are in your place, you know. <laughs> so you see how it is, you know. Oh, Babylon has nowhere to run, man. We are going to laugh, really, at the destruction of this place. Yaba Shem Yaushaira Taza will be in some places in those days, you know. Because I really want to witness this thing, man. Me too, honestly, I want to witness. I want to witness the fall of this wicked, 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 demonic, devilish, satanic, you know, rule of humans, man. I want to witness it. And Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Rataza will be part of that number that's going to be saved, man. Because there is nothing as beautiful as, you know, being beamed up in a chariot and right down, you know, looking down and seeing all this destruction downstairs, down. You know, you can keep reading. Yeah, no, since you said that, happy the man that sees the downfall of his enemy. Can, like can, there is. And also, there is also a scripture. There is also a scripture here in, in Revelation, but I can't remember now. You know, he's speaking that, they were, and they saw, he saw the glass mingled okay, with fire yeah, and yeah. water. You know, that's, that's we in the chariot, you know, looking down and seeing the world being destroyed, you know seen America Babylon being destroyed and we know according to the book of um, Revelation 16 we um, is it no according to the book of Revelation 1920 we know that majority a bigger part of Italy is also going to be destroyed do you know yeah, of course, because Italy is Italy is Rome can you know? that so, false prophet you know spirit of frog you know is also going to be all destroyed you know yeah they also received the arrow you know it's going to be they're going to receive one of the some of the arrows because Rome is the spiritual capital of of Babylon the Great, you know, of the devils that are ruling right now. Rome is their spiritual capital. America is their economical capital, you know. Then you have England, which is their uh, no 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 financial capital. Yes, England is their financial capital. Yeah. You know. This is scripture you, you, you meant. Can, can, read. This is Revelation chapter 15, verse 2. And I saw as it were a seal of glass mingled with fire. And this is, this is John, you know, he was seeing this vision, but he was taken up in the chariot and he was seen down. Okay? And that glass I saw mingled with fire is talking about the earth, man. And mingled with fire, those are the missiles, you know, doing their reaction. Yeah, it's like they are in chariots. Same Can, they are up there and they're sitting down, you know. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name and stand on the sea of glass having the harp 
can. Okay, so he said those, you know, okay. those who were saved, who yeah. are the elect, who didn't receive the mark, who didn't receive the MOT, you know, those who didn't who didn't sell out, you know, those who don't who don't really care about this place and throw a beautiful middle finger to this to this kingdom, you know, they were up there, they were all looking down, you know. And what happened in the next verse tells you we started singing, we sang the song of Moses, man. And that day is going to be a glorious day in which, you know, our bodies need to be changed, man. Because brothers are going to pass out, out of, you know, over happiness, man. <laughs> you remember? <laughs> man, we need, our bodies need to be changed, man. Because brothers are going to pass out, man, out of too much joy, man. It's going, what a day is it going to be, man. Yahab Hashem, Yahushai, Ratazah, we're part of that number. Yaba Shem Yahushai Rataza, we can we can witness that man. Yeah. So hey man, um I believe should we keep going or we should cut the video? It's 120. You know, maybe we could just get some some few. Um get that scripture is blessed is the man who um um the most high did not, does not count his sin upon him. Blessed is the man whom the Most High has pity and does not count sin upon him, you know? So, hey, there is a lot to lose, you know, being on the side of this kingdom. And there is a lot to gain, you know? You have a lot to gain, things that your eyes cannot see, your mind cannot even think about. There is a lot to gain if you stay on the side of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Suffer a little here and enjoy for everlasting, everlasting life. But some people want to enjoy here. And suffer later, you know. So read. Yeah, this is Psalm 32, verse 1. Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven, whose sin is covered. Blessed is the man unto whom the Lord impugned not his iniquity, or impugned not iniquity, and in whose spirit there is no girl. Can. Oh, this is the spirit we really want to find ourselves in these days, man. Because blessed are those people, man, who the Most High does not count as iniquities on him, man. Yeah, because these people, these are they actually the people Yahushai blood actually covered their sins. Can. You know, these are the elect. These are the elect, can. You know, because we are, we all have been sinning from the days of Adam. We have been coming and sinning. I think uh, King David said that I was conceived in. In, in sin, can't. In, in sin, in something sin. like that. Yeah, can't. You know, we are all born in sin. We are so, all born in sin. Meaning man. we have been living, you know, we have been coming. You know, our sin have been remaining with us. Anytime we come back, we keep, we are born in sin. We keep doing the same thing over and over. But this time now, the scripture says, blessed is the man. You know, the Lord have, the man that is sin have already been covered by our child. This is what is actually speaking. You know, can, and you, which, can, you can back that up. Well, finish what you're saying. Yeah, which we are hope we are hoping to be one of those, you know. Because those there are lots of people who are, are being chosen. You can back it up with Book of Jeremiah one one. You know, I've known you from your, from thy mother's womb. You know, some people have been chosen right from from the foundation who are actually there with Yahweh Shai during the times of creation. You know, who are the first fruits, man. You know, whom the Most High is going to have mercy on them. You know, because it's not by our works. That we get that we get this this um this salvation it's not by our holiness because our holiness are actually a filthy rags you know before the most high yahweh shem yahushai no matter how much you try to keep the commandments and do everything in which you're meant to walk in that way anyway in order for you to get eternal life but no matter how you put these things in practice no matter how holy you believe you are you know your holiness is just a filthy rag you know a piece of shit really you know so it's by grace that we're saved, man, you know. So some people, the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahushai has ordained them to this truth, you know. He has, he has ordained them and we're praying with part of that number of those people, you understand. Because being saved from the destruction that is coming is, is the main thing right now, you know. It's the main thing, being saved from the destruction that is coming, you know. Hey, open your eyes and, you know, start saying these things. If you have a few precepts, I think we should close this lesson. You know, I think we've gotten the points out there. Yeah, I want to bring the scripture that Protocol was saying, you know, we are we are saved by 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 grace. By, by grace, you know. 
If not, the the death of Yahashai would have been in vain. Ah, you know. Ah, and then you have that scripture that says, you know, we've all sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yeah. You know. So hey. Okay, I think it's Galatians two, twenty one. Bring it out. Okay, this is Galatians two twenty one. Said, I do not frustrate the grace of Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh Shai. For if righteousness come by law, then Yahweh Shai is dead in vain. Can if righteousness if righteousness comes by the law, you know, then Yahweh Shai's death is in vain, man, because you know we have all sinned and come short of the glory of the Most High Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. You know, our prayer, our major prayer should be mercy, man. I always repeat this, you know. All you can do is to pray for mercy and beg for mercy, you know. And also repent. First, well, you can't beg for mercy if you don't if you're not repenting. Yeah, because the scripture. If says, you're not repenting, you can just forget about it. If you're not repenting, you can't beg for mercy. Repent and be converted. You can so repent that your and sins be, might be blotted out. Re, re, you know? Speak out, man. So repent and be converted so your sins can be blotted out. If you're not repenting, you can just forget mercy. But then, you know, you never can tell. It's all the doings of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because he's going to have mercy on whom he's going to have mercy upon. Yeah. But then the road that leads to that life is repentance, man. Yeah. Because if you don't repent, nothing, man. Then yeah. the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai has those people that is going to have mercy on them. You know, yeah. all this is left into the hands of the most high Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. But in order to get access to this mercy, the first step is repentance, man. Yeah, because he, Heavenly Father have laid the way to find him, you know. Can he, he have, has always laid the way, man. He have laid the way. Nobody know? can complain. You can't. You can't complain that you never heard of the truth, man. You have a dumb phone on your hand. Yeah. You have the internet. Internet is also in some rural areas and in some extremities of the world. You never think there is internet, you know. So the Most High has made all these things possible for the people to get this truth, you know. Having said this, you know, if you don't have anything else to to add. You know, having said this, we hope this lesson was edifying. We, we hope we came through with the, with the, with the points. You know, I believe you know the spirit was actually on us on this one. You know, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High. Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashem Kakodash. Our double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS, who taught us this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Shalom. 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 Shalom.